Everyone knows the Greeks were an industrious and expansive people making colonies all over the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. But in Imperator Rome, in the Imperator Invictus mod, one of the furthest away colonies is Massalia, a colony that escaped Phocaea from the Persians 300 years before the start of the game. Now it's a really hard start, surrounded by Gauls with cultures that are alien to your own, making your armies very small, making your population very unstable and unhappy. Can we go out and beat the Gauls today guys and make a Greek empire in Gaul? Well stay tuned to find out and if we get to a hundred likes on this video we'll do a part two, so make sure you like and subscribe. So here we are guys as Massalia, one of the few Greek settlements out in Gaul, one of the few Greek trading nations out here among the barbarians, pretty much as far as the Greeks would go in terms of setting up a nation in these parts. They originally came from Phocaea about 600 BC, which is around this area, around Pergamon. Uh, and yeah, about 300 years before the start date of this campaign of course and when they came they came fleeing the persians so uh yeah quite a long way to come which is pretty interesting as to why they set it up but at the start of the campaign massalia is one of the uh, sort of predominant trading cities across the whole of the western mediterranean of course carthage and rome capua being other very large ones but in terms of the northwestern mediterranean there was, of course, Massalia and Emporion over here, the Greeks of Iberia. And they are actually most likely a uh, sort of nation that was split off from Massalia that came and traded over here uh, amongst the Iberians. So obviously, this is going to be pretty difficult because we really only have a Greek population over here in Massalia. Everywhere else, if we have a look at the, uh, the cultures, as you can see... Yeah, <laughs> it's all Celtic population. There are some pockets led by Emporion over here that we might have to try and grab. Um, and there's also this pocket down here, uh, Hemeroskopion, the Iberian Greeks as well. But apart from that, we're pretty screwed really, guys. We're pretty screwed. <laughs> I mean, I think our omens are saying that we should build forts, really. <laughs> We do have a pretty rounded Archon at the moment. 6776. Seven, seven, six. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. I think we're going to go towards the Democrats. He has zero finesse, this guy. But um, 8109, not too bad at all. Well, what are we going to do for inventions, guys? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's uh, much we can really decide not to take in terms of discipline. So we're just going to get all the discipline that we can right now because... We have so few population. Honestly, we have so few population. And then we might just stick another one in towards the tax so that we can get a little bit more cash going forward as well. Let's go for build cost. Let's also go for slave output because we're going to try and <laughs> sustain our economy with the oopsies, guys. Um, so, yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. And I think we're going to go for the popularity gain because I do want to keep... Uh, our nation stable for now. Stable for now. <laughs> well, if we have a look at our culture, we are actually Massalian mainly. We have some Ligurian and Saluvian as well, but Massalian is the only integrated culture. So we're going to have to look to try and expand and maybe get one other culture integrated pretty early on. So our army is mainly uh, heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. So we're going to get a... Dis uh, we're going to get an excess of iron and horses as well for now for that extra discipline. So that is going to help out quite a bit, hopefully, with, with such a small army that we have. Well, let's have a look at our missions far from home, guys. Massalia, Emporian, Alea, and Hemeroskopion were founded hundreds of years ago by exiles fleeing Asia, their homes and dreams taken by the Persians who sacked their mother city of Phocaea in Ionia. So we are fond of Gauls and Iberians. Um, but yeah, times are hard. The survival of the most westerly Greeks hangs in the balance. So we are going to start this straight away. And let's have a look. We've got the Massalio Coast, which we need to uh, take. So we need to take some land, which is fine. I wonder whether we've got claims on that to start with. 
Mediterranean patrols. We need 30 Liburnians. Barbarian bartering. Okay, we can purchase a uh, an area. And then, yeah, we just go down here. We take a few more. I'm assuming we'll get some more pops as well. Don't really want to declare war on Saluvia to start with. But uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to press play and see whether we can survive, guys. <laughs> Well, we can actually get an alliance with Rome at the minute. Problem is, <laughs> I'm probably going to miss some of those, uh, <laughs> some of those call to arms. There's also too many relations because we are in a defensive league with Emporion and Hemeroscopion. But uh, honestly, that 10% reduction is fine if we have Rome as an alliance, really. <laughs> Well, Rome is calling us to arms. We are just going to accept it. I mean, it's very unlikely that those troops are ever going to come up near us. So, the fingers crossed. We have got a claim going on some of our neighbors. So, we are going to get that going as quick as possible. And see if we can take out some of these smaller areas. Unfortunately, this is Italic culture, uh, mainly. So, yeah, that's... Oh, wait. That's ours. Bro, I didn't even know. I didn't even notice that. This one's italic. <laughs> oh, that one's that that one's ours. <laughs> Let's go after Oxibia to start with. They don't have any allies, and they literally just have a fort. Hopefully, we can get there before they raise their army. But there we go. Okay, okay. We might be okay here, guys. We might be okay. We then are going to go for uh, Decitia over here that are allied with Saluvia. So. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, there we go, guys. Our first expansion is done. Let's uh, get on with that. Let's take everything off them that we can. And we are going to banish uh, instead of kill these guys. And yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to be too happy. <laughs> I've got to say. Uh, and we still do have a dominance of Massalian in this area. But I am trying to uh, religiously convert first. Right then, we have done that. Let's go on to this war. How is Rome not our ally anymore? How did that happen? Did they ask for another? Did that... Come on, Rome. Really? They just they just got rid of it. So uh, let's go for uh, Etruria instead. Thanks, Etruria. You're going to be my bestest of allies, my friends. And they won't come in. Really? They got bad stability. Ah, oh. oh, are we going to solo them, guys? I mean, we've got enough money for mercenaries if we need to. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's, let's go for it. Well, let's go for this battle, guys. And we are winning. Okay, all that discipline is going to come in handy. We do also, of course, have a heavy infantry. I've actually not even set up the army yet. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Well, I think, unfortunately, it has to be done. It's going to cost us two a month to get those mercenaries. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to take them, unfortunately, guys. And we're going to go straight for the capital. Could get a bit of um, bit of morale first, though, I would think. So uh, let's just chill out for a second. I don't know what uh, Saluvia is doing, guys. They're, they're literally... I don't know. Are they fighting in another war? I also realize we have to take Narbo, too. To complete our first mission. So, yeah, we are going to uh, fabricate a claim on them when we get 25 influence. Not getting much influence at the minute. Obviously, that doesn't really help with our too many relations. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get better over time, guys. We're going to get better. <laughs> Here we go. Another big battle. And it looks like we are going to win this one again. Pretty nice. Doesn't look like they have too much in the way of fighting us. But, um, yeah, we've just got to be not too cocky. Yeah, it looks like Saluvia is in another war with Albicia over here. But, um, yeah, so we need to kind of try to at least take the coast here first before they take everything else. Right, well, let's uh, take a little bit of land there, guys. We're not going to be able to take this. I think Albicia is going to get it. Um, but, yeah, no. Oh, well, it's, it's okay. We're going to banish those people as well. And now if we have a look at our culture map mode... We can see Saluvian is very big around here. There's also Volcaean. So those are the two groups we're going to integrate if we're going to integrate anyone. So if we have a look at our cultures now, you can see that Saluvian is 31 people uh, that are Saluvian. Not 
It's not massive at the moment, but it will become big, guys. It will become big. Let's go for another heavy cavalry discipline. I think that's going to be good for us going forward. So let's get that in there. Well, the funny thing is Delphi is being besieged right now. And um, yeah, I just got a message about it saying muster the men. Um, I, I, I really don't care, guys. I, I like. Why would I care? We're all the way over here. We, we don't care about Greece anymore. We, we were, not, were not even from Greece originally. Well, why do we care? Come on. And for the first time ever, guys, I'm going to take a fort defense omen. <laughs> first time ever. Well, we have our second claim on this area with Narbo. We are going to call in Etruria. We are supposedly helping them in one of their wars, you know. Uh, the Senate don't like it, but I'm sorry, man. It's the missions. It's the missions, bro. That's that's what we've got. That's what we've got to work with. <laughs> Apparently, we, can, we have to go through this fort. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We might be able to block them off with our ships as well. Well, we were in a siege race with one of uh, Etruria's enemies, which is rather a little bit annoying. But, um, yeah, what can you do? Looks like we're going to have to take them out as well. So, hopefully they don't take the fort. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh, they're going to run away. Okay. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. <laughs> well, now Emporion has fallen to the uh, Celtiberian tribes. Um, we are, of course, fabricating a claim on it because 20 Massalian population, guys. That is like gold dust around here. <laughs> well, more land for the Massalians, my friends. We are going to take it all, of course. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to banish, of course, all of those people. Unfortunately, though, you know, we have in this, we have Volcayan and Soluvian. So, honestly, I think as if there's no missions, we can take this mission now, though. There's no missions that are going to provide them as an integrated culture for free. We will integrate at least one of them. Just when our stability is a little bit higher, though. Just when it's a little bit teeny-weeny bit higher. So we can take this mission now, guys. It gives us a few claims. And we get, for 120 months, local tax and pop assimilation speed. So it might be worth changing to uh, population assimilation rather than religious assimilation in some of these places. There may be less so because there's just not that much population. I think maybe here we already are on a cultural conversion, aren't we? Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at our claims now then. So where are our claims? Oh, it's all here in a Volcaonia. Hmm, they're quite big now. I'd rather take this 20 Massalian population so that we can expand our military, but... um. Yeah, I think we'll wait for that war first, unless these guys have, like, no allies. But they do. Etruria would come in, though. And Etruria's pretty big now. I don't want Etruria taking my claims, bro. Don't take my claims, bro. <laughs> and for some reason, Etruria just insulted us. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks for that, guys. Don't know why. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we do have it out while we're waiting for the claim. We're going to take Alps Maritime, and we're also going to be fighting Categoria. So we're going to take this land up here. And I believe, actually, there's a city up here. No, it's actually in uh, Volagate over there. So, unfortunately, there's no city here for us to take. But uh, that doesn't matter. We're going to take it nonetheless. Some nice, juicy land for the boys. And once again, Etruria insults us. You're literally in us... <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why? The one good thing about having elections in this game, guys, is the fact that it doesn't matter too much if your leader becomes really unpopular because as long as you time it right, they're probably going to be replaced. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep on scheming for influence constantly um, so we can get a little bit more influence because we are really struggling with that at the moment. And, uh, yeah, Etrurio now wants to... Um, yeah, have our land. So, um, hoping to God that Rome will attack them. <laughs> but then we might border Rome, so that's, it's not it's not good. It's not good. The war's going well, and we're trying to steal as much population as we can. But, um, yeah, Etruria attacking us, mm, not, not really something that we, uh, that we really want, is it? <laughs> Well, I think we've only got one solution to this problem, is we're going to uh, peace out of this war. Banish everyone. And uh, we've increased in rank, of course. And go straight 
Oh, come on. No. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, Etruria. Really? You've got so many troops. So many troops, my friend. I don't think we're going to be able to beat you. We have a lot of forts, but I have been deleting them, of course, because we just have too many. But, oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me, guys. This is not good. This is not good. Well, I think that means we need to get a few more allies. So we're going to ally the Allobrogues for now. It does, again, put us above our too many relations. But at least having one ally is a good thing. We are desperately trying to improve relations with Etruria, but... Uh, let's hope the Romans get them and then the Romans decide that Carthage is the bigger fish to fry in the Mediterranean at the minute and not this little growing Greek power in the north. Well, here we go again, guys. Another war for us to take. And this one will give us actual Massalian pops, which is going to be absolutely glorious. Let's also make some bacon, guys, to try and get our uh, stability up a bit higher before we then integrate our next largest population, which at the minute is Soluvian. So I think, yeah, we'll go for Soluvian next and then Volcaean later. Obviously, having three so early in the game is not ideal. <laughs> but we're just, we're just going to have to do it. Like, that's, that's literally the reality of the situation here. And look at this, guys. We're going to have to make some religious advances because... <laughs> 663. 6... 63 is when the next person is going to be converted to um, uh, Hellenic from Druidic. And at 5.30 for a culture conversion there. I don't think that's that really works. I mean, look over here. 5.18. Over here. Uh, it's not good. It's 51 years, bro. Well, we're going to have to do a few missions. I've also had a look at the... Uh, the technology, and if we get this oratory advance, we get lots of free uh, freemen that are Massalian, so that will help. There's also a couple of other ones down here, isn't there, that give us a few uh, a few freemen. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do that. Just a there's some nobles. So yeah, we we just need to bolster that population. Our technology is going so so slow though as well because our efficiency 32 percent, guys. 32 this is this is this is not this is not nice <laughs> well um rome has declared war on etruria so offer like nothing okay i need to wait 36 months <laughs> ah well as long as rome doesn't take my land i'm, I'm happy okay take etruria Take some of it. Take half of it would be, be good for me. But, um, yeah. <laughs> the rest of it, maybe we can carve it up. Ooh, that would be spicy, wouldn't it? Well, normally I do let the men roam free. But because these are Massalians, we got to let the looting be gentle. We need those pops. We need them. Well, someone actually just murdered one of the people that was disloyal. So, um... Cheers, whoever did that, thank you very much, because it wasn't me, but um, I'm glad to know you had other enemies as well. Maybe we can be friends with them. Maybe. And this mercenary company has been doing amazing work for us. It's not the best mercenary company in the world, but it's just bread and butter, guys. It's bread and butter. It loves, loves a little bit of action here and there, and it's done well for us. It's done well, I've got to say. Well, with the election of a new guy, we get to barter now for a... Any area that's owned by a tribal non-Hellenistic country. So any any ports. Hmm. I mean, so it could be any of these, really. Carthage? No. Oh, that's Gymnasia. So yeah. Oh, this would be perfect for us because we have military access through this guy at the moment. And uh, yeah, it would be nice. And then if we secure a lot of these areas, we can get a lot of stuff. We can get a lot of stuff. So... It's going to be good going down there. I don't think we have the budget for 30 Liburnians as of yet, though, guys. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Don't mind me. Just stealing more and more population. Oh, we have options. That popped up at exactly the right time. We have Geum from Gymnasium. Yeah, everyone's unlikely to accept, so let's take the one that is likely, and that's that's it. 
Well, they, they didn't accept, so... Fucking brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, Punicus. Okay, another one at Backs to the Land is done. Allied Tribal Country that has eight territories and at least 100 opinion of us. Pop migration speed and a national tribesman output for 120 months. Well, the Romans are pretty close and... Irony of ironies, the Etrurians are using our land to run away into, so... Embarrassing for them. Just might be very, very painful for us if the Romans start taking all our pops. Oh, well. Not much we can really do, is the guys? Not much we can do. Well, the next war is done. I'm just very worried about the Romans. <laughs> so, uh, let's take that. That's really going to help. We've got Massalian population here. So, uh, yeah, and we also do need a governor. Let's have a look. Eccentric research points, not necessarily that useful. Freeman happiness would be very useful. Uh, and obsessive. Hmm. Local research points is really not that that useful. Uh, because these areas are not going to provide as much research points anyway. Well, whatever. We'll go for this guy. Uh, and damn. I took him when he's uh, goddamn disloyal. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, imbecile. Oh my god, look how quickly the Romans have destroyed Etruria. It is 463 when 36 months have passed. Oh dear. It's not good for us, is it, guys? It's really not good for us. I don't want to spend any money fighting the Romans, seeing as we're losing so much money anyway. But yeah, mainly on fort maintenance, so... I do need to start getting rid of some of these forts now. As you can see, we do have too many forts, definitely. Okay, Rome took our fort, but didn't take any of our land. That's that's a good thing, guys. <laughs> we did lose a couple of pops that went to Capua. Unfortunate for them, but uh, yeah. Oh, deary me, deary me. That was close. That tells us we need to integrate population ASAP. So, um, let's see. Well, here goes nothing, guys. We're going to make uh, Saluvian into our next big population. As you can see, we are have just a mix of everything right now. So, um, yeah, Saluvian's going to be the one. That should also help out with our religious conversion as well in all these uh, Saluvian lands. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go Saluvian. Michael Volkayan depends on how much land we get off them eventually. Ah, so Etruria is now a subject of the Romans. That's... Uh, that's not ideal. That's really, really, really not ideal. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me, guys. Dearie, dearie me. Well, if you are enjoying this pain and suffering, guys... Make sure to like and subscribe. Yay! Well, quite a few of these guys now have a lot of allies. So we're going to go for one of the smaller ones, Helvia, over here. So uh, let's go for that. Just constant war, guys. Constant war. More Saluvians as well. So that should definitely help us out. Well, finally, we've got another invention. So let's go down towards getting those... Uh, Massalian Freeman. Well, the war's going pretty well, guys. Definitely very much helped by Allobrogia. But unfortunately, they took those two pieces of territory off us as well. And yeah, they are our goddamn claims. So, um, huh, not ideal. Ah, uh, the war in this game is interesting, shall we say. It's interesting. It's like CK2 back in the day, you know. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, come on. <laughs> and these dickheads took this land as well. Come on. You're not even connected to it, bro. Why? Oh, this, this is very, very annoying. I've got to be careful not to give anything to them. Yeah, nothing to Alabrogia. It's, it's all mine, okay? It's, it's all mine. <laughs> Ah, well, the bloody Allobrogues took this area now. I didn't even press that. I, I don't think I did. I, I could just be being really dumb, but... Ah, well, f fair enough. That's more Saluvians for us to um, integrate. 106 now, and 96 Volkai. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we are going to let some Saluvians become freemen, which is a good idea, I think. I mean, minus 2.5% culture ha happiness 
for five years is not too bad. The discipline isn't great, but uh, 60 months again, five years should be okay. And 10% progress is pretty good. And there we go, guys. Soluvian is now integrated. Fantastic. Most of them Freeman, actually. So, yeah, it has made quite a big difference to our levies. Now, the thing I'm wondering is, if we just get to the end of this month, whatever, just, just fine, whatever. We're now making 0.23 on stability. Can we afford to go for the double? Can we afford to go for Volkayan as well? Because... That is going to be massive if we can get that. Like, our armies are not going to be amazing. As you can see, it's a, it's a bit of a mess, really, isn't it? In terms of um, the armies. We've got plenty of heavy infantry, though, now, which is quite good. Um, but, yeah, Volkayan. Let's, uh, I think we're going to do it. It's going to be a bit problematic with Massalian. So, we might have to, um, of course, get some tech to help with that. But uh, yeah, let's um, yeah, let's let's go, guys. Let's go. And uh, how long is that going to take us? 0 0.05 a day. Yeah, it's going to take a long time, guys. <laughs> Quick maths. And unfortunately, because we are trying to uh, get the glorious Laburnian uh, sort of fleet going, uh, we have had to get rid of our mercenaries, guys. The fleet's costing us too much too much but we need to do this one that is going to give us a claim on uh, the balearic isles which should be quite easy to uh take care of unless carthage is allied with them or something like that but um yeah let's see there we go mediterranean um patrols guys that is very nice indeed i think movement speed is honestly the best one out of that so we need to have a marketplace in massalia and then this area over here needs to be owned by us. And then, yeah, one of the um, one of the sort of uh, state improvements there. Uh, province improvements, should I say. So uh, let's have a look. Can we declare war on these guys? We absolutely can. No problem with that at all. Let's get our armies together and let's see how many that we have now. So 6k, pretty nice indeed so let's go for the balearic isles that should be nice and fun well here we go boys a big landing is coming up whether we uh whether we find a massive army on here because somehow they've got a load of population squared away i don't know no no it's just absolute trash they've got nothing you've got nothing my friends absolutely nothing oh military tradition let's go we can actually get celtic traditions yeah yeah Probably not. <laughs> Definitely for now, the Greek kingdom traditions would be better. But look at those Freeman guys. <laughs> you got to take them. you got to take those opportunities when they're given to you. you got to take them. you got to. There goes another nation. Now we have the Balearic Isles under our control. Very nice indeed. What is the actual uh, culture here? It's actually Balearic. So, um, yeah, that's not going to be so fun for us. I do want a loyal governor here. Someone without any corruption. You are generous. Hmm. That sounds absolutely fantastic, my friend. Honestly, thank you. Thank you for being generous. Don't think we need a fort on here anymore. Definitely not the option for us. Does that do our... Here we go. Mago needs to be a city. Oh, that's going to take forever, man. It's going to take forever, bro. Uh, I think we do have a uh, claim here, though, as well. So uh, let's go for this little... Uh, little nation and somehow these guys have a level two four i don't know how they're affording that but fair enough guys fair enough i mean we'll take it we'll take it off your hands <laughs> for free for free well another island for us in there guys very nice indeed and uh i think honestly when we get our volcan population integrated we're gonna be uh we're gonna be ready to fight this guy because look how many allies he has <laughs> And some of these are like the Insubres, the Torinia over here. So yeah, they're not tiny little guys. So that's going to be a spicy little war. Well, another mission done, guys. Just gives us some more trade routes in Massalia, which is pretty good. Also a claim on Corsica. But um, yeah, with Etruria being under the Romans, not sure that's the idea right now. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Of The Volkai are now hours in terms of integrations 
sounded a bit weird, <laughs> but what does that do for our military? Let's get rid of those guys for now. Yeah, not much. Honestly, not as much as I expected. We're still, we're still so trash, man. We're still so bad. <laughs> well, that's, that's really not too good, is it, guys? It's really not good at all. Uh, garbage, please be my friend. Ooh, they're actually not too far away, you know. Um, yeah, let's try it, guys. Let's, let's try it. There's also Vasconia as an option. They might actually be quite a good ally for our next war. So let's go with that, and then we'll also try and get Carthage. Oh, they've instantly called us into a war. Oh. Should have checked that. <laughs> I really should have checked that. Let's have a look at what they're uh, what they're doing right now. Who are they fighting? All of these guys. Okay. Well, I do want that land. So, yeah, and we'll try and steal it from you. Um, quick, 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 guys, go. Let's go. Well, here we go, guys. Census data. That's going to help us out with a few more Massalian boyos as well. And then we're going to have a look at some religious advances. Getting some of these culture happinesses up and provincial loyalty. All that sort of thing. That should really, really help out going forward. And they actually did give us some stuff in this war. Thank you very much, my friends. That's very nice of you. So, um... Yeah, because of that, we are going to go straight to war with these guys. Fortunately, the uh, Allobrogues aren't going to fight with us anymore. I feel like, though, our troops are just good enough. So, thing is, though, do we take all this land? How much aggressive expansion is that going to be? And how annoyed do you reckon Rome's going to be if we take all of this land? How many people will we at war with anyway? All of them. I mean, coming all the way up there is not really going to benefit us that much, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> there any cities? There's no cities at all. I might take this land, though. I probably won't take in Subres land, although it is quite rich. Um, but I might take this land in here. Take that city of Tyrassia. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the option anyway, guys. Well, it turns out, guys, they actually have a ton of troops. So the only way we can win, I think, is if we all attach together. So everyone attach to me. Don't Stop, stop going off doing crazy shit, bro. How many men is that? 8,000, I think. God damn it, bro. Stop wasting your troops, man. Oh, come on. We've got discipline. 103% only. Ah, this should be victory, but can we beat that 12 stack? I don't know. Maybe this is going to have to be a siege race. Oh, no, man. This is not good. As a civil war is about to start. Great. Well, I think the only way we're going to win this is if we get some mercenaries. Oh, give us wealth. Is there any way to give us wealth? <sighs> At least it's his personal wealth and not ours. <laughs> How do we feel about this battle then? How are we feeling about it? It's our fort. It's on the plains though. It's not the greatest of forts, but... Oh, God damn. God damn. Are we going to win? Come in. Come in, you fools. How long is it going to take you, man? Okay. That might have just saved us. Maybe, maybe not. They've got more discipline this time. Looks like we've got more people. What is this? A Nile fucking crocodile? Take the fucking Nile crocodile, man. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> So we might win this. Oh, okay. We did. Just. Oh, man. This is close. <laughs> Let's try and siege while the civil war is about to start as well. Uh, hopefully. Uh, how long have we got on that? 13 months. Okay. 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 We just need this little bit of land. I'm not bothered about the, the others anymore. And that was... That was dumb. Okay. <laughs> Take that political influence, honestly. Okay, we have the ability now to actually get some mercenaries. Um, but yeah, is it going to help? Oh, man. Civil war starting as well. So I kind of need the money to bribe some people if we get too close to the civil war. We'll go on for now. And just hope 
we can take this this land and hope these dumb stupid armies stay close okay they're going for the attack okay come and help you fools it's the only way we survive 113 percent discipline though now oh man we're, we're gonna lose come in you need to save us come on man are we gonna lose this really no looks like we're gonna <sighs> need some more titles and one fucking give me a 10 man oh six but it's done it's fucking done bro <sighs> they're on medium though just offer a white piece I can't demand anything they won't accept we don't obviously we don't have 10 war score <sighs> this was a bad idea this was a bad idea white piece we're, we're leaving we're going <laughs> damn <laughs> well at least we managed to avoid the civil war with a timely timely bribe but uh yeah Oh, that was, that was a tough one. There's some big nations around us now. And we just can't keep up with the military side of things because of our population. We are going to have to very much move towards a legionary-based economy. But um, we're not making that much money, really, as well. That's, that's the other problem. Like, we aren't making much money. So we can go to Noble Elite, but it's, it's really not going to make much difference. It's, in fact, going to hurt us. So... Um, yeah, we're going to go towards military modernization if we can. We're going to have to get cohorts. And we need to be a major power for that, though. Mm. We could just go straight for Provisioning Act rather than anything else. So, yeah, I think that's going to be better because, like, what is this? This is a mess, man. <laughs> I should not have integrated those cultures so early. I mean, it has helped us out, though. It has helped us out. And for now, we're not going to be able to go down that side of the mission tree. We're going to have to come down this side. So if we have a look, uh, there's that. There's this one here. So we're going to have to go after these guys down here if we can. So, and then we also need to take this little bit of land as well. So, yeah, we've got a bit to do, guys, um, if we want to carry on. And I've got to say, this mission tree is, is pretty good. Look how powerful it is, though. Like, look how much stuff it wants us to take. Look at that. It wants us to take, like, all of Carthage, bro. Look at that one. That is mental. So, yeah, this is a really cool mission tree. I do really like it. And it's a very interesting challenge being stuck up here um, as well. But uh, if you have enjoyed, guys, and you want to see part two of this Massalia little playthrough, then uh, 100 likes and we'll do a part two, guys, just to show me that you are interested in this. Uh, make sure you comment down below. Any tips and tricks would be massively appreciated because uh, I'm not an expert on this game. I'm not terrible, but I'm not an expert nonetheless but thank you very much for watching guys it's been a pleasure as always um, and i will see you all again on the next video